Hi, this Rainbird video will teach you how to create and use a customized control layer icon for your Rainbird Central Control software version 8. Creating a new icon for use with Central Control version 8 control layers is very simple. First, you'll want to choose an image that you like, open the image in PowerPoint, format the image by making the background transparent, resizing the image to save it so that it looks correct in the software, then replace the control icon in the Rainbird folder with the new icon that you've created. Lastly, we'll open up the map and you can use your new icon. The first thing you want to do is decide which icon you want to replace. If you look at the icons that Rainbird provides, there are four sets, A, B, C, and D. And these current icons are located in the C colon slash Rainbird slash map slash icons directory. Here you can see all of the icons that are in icon set A. In this example, we'll replace the area.png icon. I recommend you open your C colon slash Rainbird slash map slash icon slash A directory, click on the area.png icon with your right mouse button, and look at the properties of that icon. If you select on the property details, you'll see the dimensions are 36 by 36 pixels. You'll want to remember this because you need to resize your new image the same. Next, find an image or picture of your choice. Open a blank PowerPoint presentation and insert the picture. In this example, we chose a smiley marker. When the image opened in PowerPoint, click on the picture to format it. When the image opened in PowerPoint, click on the picture to format it. On the upper left section of the menu bar, select Remove Background. Resize the box that is around your image to make sure that your image is completely contained within the box. And press Keep Changes. Next, you'll want to right-click the image and choose Save Picture. And select the file format as .png. Name the image as areacopy.png and save this copy on your computer. Note what we're doing now is we have just removed the background from the image and we're saving it at the full size that the image originally came in. Next, you'll want to choose Format in PowerPoint and look to the right of the screen for the height and width adjustments. We're now going to rescale the image to be correct for use in version 8 central control software. Recall that our image was 36 by 36 pixels, which is approximately 0.38 inches. So enter 0.38 for the height and the width fields if your image sh shape is square. If your image shape is rectangular, I recommend to adjust the width and keep the aspect ratio for the height. What you'll find is the image will reduce in size. Next, you'll want to right click on the image and save the picture to your computer as area.png. Note, we did not call this a copy because this is the correctly sized area image you're going to use. Now, open up the C Rainbird Map Icons, Icon Set A directory, copy your area.png image into that directory in place of the area PNG that is in there. When you copy and replace, you'll see that before you had the standard area icon image, and after you have your new area icon image, shown here as the smiley marker. Lastly, open up your version 8 software and your map software, then zoom in until you see the new area icon in the area view. I will now demonstrate the instructions in a live example. We will replace this area marker with a new area marker. I will first close the Rainbird Map application and close Cirrus. You can see that on my C drive, Rainbird Map Icons, there are four folders. I will look in Icon Group A and identify the area marker I want to replace. While still in this directory, 
I want to right mouse click on my area marker and select properties. From the properties window, I can see the details and identify the dimension of this image, 36 pixels wide by 36 pixels high. I've already went to the internet and found a picture that I liked on the internet and saved it as a JPEG file on my desktop, which I will use for this new area marker. First, I will open up a blank PowerPoint presentation. I will then insert a picture from my desktop into PowerPoint. Notice that I am zoomed in at 274% to make it larger. I will next select Remove Background. And I will resize the box around my image, indicating what areas I want removed. I will select Keep Changes to remove the background and make the background transparent. Next, I will click in the image and save as a picture. I'll put it again on my desktop. I will call this area copy dot PNG and save. Next, I will adjust the size and position of the image. By right mouse clicking, selecting size and position, and adjusting the height and width. Because I'm not a square box, I want to lock my aspect ratio. Let's put it at 0.4 inches, which is very close to that 0.38 we spoke of earlier. And close. I will now right click Save as picture again, and I will call this area.png and save it. Next, I will go to my desktop, grab the area.png image, and copy. I will then go back to my Rainbird Map Icons A directory and paste. Now I want to copy and replace the new image. So now if I look in Rainbird Map Icons A, I see my new area image. Next. I will open up my central control software I will open the map I will go to area view and you see the new area marker is now the image I've created. That's how simple it is to change your icon images for your control layers.